and the quality of the thinking was to really be very objective with what was said by the other. And also something which is important in the work they were doing, and this is also in the field of fiqh and uh, 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 Islamic law and jurisprudence, is defining the concept. By this term I mean, by this term I mean. And they are starting the discussion by defining the concept. And this is very much rooted in the Islamic tradition. But we lost this by being not so strict with the definitions, not so clear as to the concepts, and we respond not exactly understanding what is said. So reconciling ourselves with our own tradition as Muslims is also reconciling ourselves with the intellectual tradition uh, of the scholars who were very strict with concepts. Where does it come from? What are the definitions? And how can we understand this? And this is where we are effective in a dialogue. So when it comes to the civil state, it's of course very important to put the concept into perspective, say, what does it mean, for example, and why it meant this in the Western context where it was used first. And then we come to our tradition and say, what could it mean and what does it mean in our tradition? How are we dealing from an Islamic viewpoint with a concept which in fact was built out of a specific history with specific references and especially to Christianity? This is the discussion we are talking about. It's not enough to use terms and say, you know what, this, the West is happy with a civil state, not with an Islamic state, so let's go for a civil state. Because it doesn't mean that we are understanding what we are mean. What, what do we mean? It's just showing how much we are intellectually not at ease with our own tradition. We use words to appease, not meaning to be clear. Remember this phrase: we use words to appease, and not uh, uh, words with meanings and understanding and concepts that have to be understood. Now, if we come to the introduction, three points that I want to make as an introduction to the discussion. And uh, uh, for me, it's quite important here to understand the starting point in a very sim simple way, if not simplistic, for the time we have. Because this could be a, a topic that we can uh, study for a long seminar, one year seminar to take, to go all the steps to understand. I don't have time for this this morning, I'm opening, so get it as it is, it's an introduction to the topic and not the whole, uh, <coughs> sorry, discussion. Now, what we are mentioning when we come to a civil state, the civil state in fact is opposed to do two different realities, coming in a very simple way. The civil state is in fact opposed in the Western tradition to two other types of state when it comes to the nation state reality. And this was at the end of the 19th century, beginning of the 20th century, two types of states. The first one is of course what we know, and this is why what you said as an introduction was important in the West. Very often a civil state comes as the other name of a secular state. And sometimes the secular state is the other name to a democratic state in the Western and through the Western paradigm. Meaning that in fact we use civil state to say and to distinguish the state from a religious state. So the civil state is not a religious state. So this is one difference and we start with this. It's very simple. Now we have to understand what is a religious state from a Western perspective and then answer the question that you were uh, asking is what is the relationship between a civil state and Islam? How today we have so many leaders starting with uh, Dr. Mohammed Morsi in Egypt but not only him, it started in Algeria, in Morocco, in the, le the, the last half of the previous former century uh, uh, where the, the, the leaders were starting to talk about the civil state. And even something which is quite interesting with uh, Dr. Muhammad Aymara in Egypt, recently just after the, what he called the revolution of the 25th century, saying something which got quite, quite uh, out for some 
Muslim thinkers, he said, So saying the Islamic State is a civil state. So someone who is used to the old uh, discourse of the Islamists should be lost with this. What do you mean by that? And if you are listening to this from the West, you are completely lost. The old parameters and references, what does it mean? The civil, the, it means, in fact, in Western terms, a religious state is a civil state, which in fact in the West is exactly the opposite. A civil state is opposed to a religious state, or at least has to be distinguished from. And the second thing, the second dimension, which why we use civil state, and it's very important now to remember this, because if you listen and, and you are following what is happening in Egypt, you get it right. A civil state is a state that is opposed to a military state which is the other side, is the qualification of the state dealing with the military running. And for example, over the last 50 years in Egypt, we are talking about the civil state, but if you look at the reality of the state, it's uh, from behind the scene a military state. The army is taking over, and up to now, when I'm talking now, even though we have a president who was elected, what was done just before the election is once again from behind the scene the military that are in fact running the country. They have a symbolic president and they have true power behind a symbolic authority. So we need to get this. The civil state is opposed and is a concept that is thank you. That is differentiating the religious state from the religious state and from the military state. And if you come to this, you understand what it means in fact. What are the differences? Straight, in a very simple way. I want to start with very simple and then it is going to be complicated. So you better follow now not to be lost at the end. And you might be following now and being lost at the end anyway. So follow. The very simple thing, we have to have our ideas clear from the very beginning. And especially Muslims today when they are challenging and trying to do something which is uh, uh, very indigenous in their society, for example in Malaysia, you need to get it right from the very beginning. It's to have the, the clear, uh, clear ideas about your principles in order to be clear as to your objectives. So if you come and now and say, okay, why are we distinguishing a military state and a religious state from a civil state? Because from behind there is something which is important. What are the qualifications and the specificities of the civil state as opposed to what is perceived as a religious state and a military state? And here you come to the second point which is important. In fact, behind the state, and we speak about state, we speak about what? We speak about governance. And we speak about governance, we speak about power, and we speak about authority. What are the main differences between the military state and the religious state in the Western tradition that is now coming to what is a civil state? In fact, it's a question of, of where lies authority, who has power. In the civil state, what is implied by using civil state, and this is why, once again, very naturally in our discourse, we come by saying a civil state is, in fact, behind the civil state is the power is given to people. Meaning, in fact, is a bottom-up way of dealing with authority. It's, there is a delegation of power that is coming from a bottom decision process going to the top and saying the civil state is representing the people. So it means, in fact, that behind the idea of a civil state is a process of election or mandate given to the state by the people. The military state and the religious state is not this. The religious state in the Western tradition is the authority is coming from on high. It's a church that is deciding with no election, no bottom-up, a top-down way of dealing with authority. Military state is the same. Military state is not an elective process, is the military are running from the top. They are not elected by people. 